Tony Award nominee Harry Haddon Patton has stunned the stage for over a decade and, of course, graced the small screen as Bertie in Downton Abbey. And now he is returning to Broadway in the bold new musical, Flying Over Sunset. Take a look. Flying over sunset, crossing Hollywood and Vine. Flying over sunset, past the Hollywood landslide, riding with the top down. And Harry joins me now. Hi, Harry. Hi. Well, so the last time I got to see you on stage was for My Fair Lady. And then, oh my gosh, it's wild to think everything that's happened since then. How has it been coming back? You're in the same theater, right? In the same place. You know, it's hard not to compare it all, but in many ways, it's nice to have had that break. And obviously, everyone's now very grateful for you know, thankful for everything we do have. And to be back at the Lincoln Center doing a new musical that's not based on anything, that's completely original with this beautiful music is is a dream. Yeah, no, and tell us about Flying Over Sunset. I remembered listening to you talk about it pre-pandemic. Yeah, and we didn't. We got to, we got to two hours before the first preview and it just went, but we've come back. And weirdly, this show is all about connection and uh, and community and finding uh, contact and seeing people you don't necessarily know. And before the pandemic, I was like, "Well, I kind of, I kind of get it." And now I'm like, "This is, this is everything. This is everything." So it's a very powerful show. And I think what James Lapine, who's written and directed it, has done is create this beautiful few hours that that sort of seeps in into your emotions. It's a wonderful show about connection and and love. Could you just speak to to the theater that you all are in? Because I mean, I've I've been I, I want to say probably in every in every Broadway theater that that there is, but there's there's something different about Lincoln Center. Well, what I'm learning is that I'm incredibly blessed because my only experience of New York theater is the Lincoln Center Theater, which is ludicrous if you if you say to anyone because it is the peak, it is the pinnacle. They care hugely about uh, the work. I've never felt, certainly doing My Fair Lady when I was on my knees for a year and a half, they did everything they could to keep me upright and to, to, to make the work shine. Tell everybody, what were you doing until 11 o'clock last night, I believe? The cast album. <laughs> and what do you have to do in about an hour from uh, the time that we wrap this interview? We have to go back and do the cast album. Yeah, it's my, it's my day off. But this is the way it works. They always want to do the cast album as soon after you've opened as possible. So the notes are fresh in your mind. And But there's magic to be done with knobs and things, I'm sure. I'm, I, I'm hoping. Every turn, I'm like, you can, you can fix that, right? Yeah, and I know this is a limited run. So if people, if people need to get their fix with you, they can also get caught up with Downton Abbey. And is there anything you could tell us about, let's just say, another movie? There's a new movie. It's coming. It's coming in March. We filmed it in um, in August, uh, and it looks beautiful. I can't I can't say too much more. There's a trailer out, and I love how there are no more rules, right? Like it used to be a show would end, and that's it. Like that's it. I know. I saw Keanu Reeves uh, doing an interview the other day about the Matrix, and he's like, "Hang on, didn't I die?" <laughs> and, um, so I, I'm looking forward to seeing how Matrix Resurrection turns out. Yeah. And if there is one thing you would want everyone to know about flying over sunset, what would it be? It's open. It's safe. Keep your mask on. Get your booster. And uh, and there's nothing to be f- afraid of. It's um it's a joyous ride. It's going to take you away from all these troubles and transport you to Malibu in the 50s uh, and put some amazing um, earworms in your ear. <laughs> 